Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2021. Your first card here is the Six of Swords, King of Wands, the Devil card, Four of Cups, the Magician, and the Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay, strong energies here, Libra. Okay, you may be dealing with a fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. For others of you, you may be dealing with a Capricorn energy or an Aries. We do have the Magician here as well. Um, I see you guys moving on, Libra. I see you guys moving away from a toxic situation. Um, it's This could be... This could be self-growth because I am hearing self-awareness. Um, so this could be working on your shadow side, Libra. This could be things that lately have been coming up, surfacing, um, and you acknowledging or having to acknowledge um, certain aspects, the way you react to certain things, to certain situations, to certain scenarios um, that speak volumes to the growth that needs to happen or the maturity that where you're at now. Um, so again, this could be you self-actualizing. Uh, this is you doing the, the shadow work, the understanding that there are certain traits about you that you need to work on or you have been working on. And that includes no longer dealing with people that are embracing that shadow side. Okay. So what we're when we're talking about this, this could be dealing with family member, friends, people that are extremely toxic that create a lot of drama because I am hearing drama filled. Um, so this could be people around you that like to gossip, that like to talk about people behind their backs. And it's almost like unknowingly you put yourself in the situations where there's a lot of rumors and it's almost the feeling of having like wanting to speak up because you've heard or you know certain things um and it, it's just a nasty feeling of being put in that situation so i see you acknowledging that and acknowledging the no longer wanting to be around that type of energy or no longer wanting to be a part even if um as an example this could be dealing with ex-partners as well where there's been a separation or some type of breakup and you keep entertaining people from your past or exclusively having only, you know, physical connections. Um, and in a way you're doing it because you, you convinced yourself that you still have feelings for them. When in reality, it's just the lack of desire that you have to start all over. Do you see what I'm saying? It's almost like comfortability. And that's the reason why you keep going back or you keep allowing to transfer your energy to those people or to those toxic people. So again, there is some type of awareness that's coming up here for the month of July. Um, with the Four of Cups, I feel that in regards to your romance or in regards to relationships, there is a feeling of wanting to pull out, pull away, get detached from a situation that is toxic or has been toxic in the past. Um, I see you really asking spirit or asking the universe to give you the signs to give you and it's almost like what i'm hearing is you're just not paying attention so if you've been asking your spirit guides your ancestors to give you clarity in regards to love and romance and there is a feeling of uncertainty there's a feeling of not knowing should i continue putting the effort or should i pull my energy back that type of energy what spirit is telling you is when you ask for signs when you ask for celestial signs you need to pay attention so when those signs come up don't convince yourself well maybe it doesn't mean that i'm going to wait around and see for <laughs> see if they give me another sign what they're telling you is you're specifically ignoring certain signs or guidance that they're giving you only because you are refusing to release a connection that is no longer healthy for you it's, it's kind of like getting to a point where you've outgrown a situation and that's where you're at right now, Libra. You do have the magician here with the Ace of Cups. So there may be new love coming towards you. For some of you guys could be an Aries. For others of you, it could be a Capricorn. 
or it could be you deciding to no longer, you know, to no longer wallow in despair in regards to a certain situation where you felt like you didn't have control over it and becoming assertive and deciding or knowing exactly what it is that you want and going for it. Um, because I feel that what they're telling you here is stop ignoring the signs. And when the opportunity arises, you need to snatch those opportunities. So stop being so indecisive, Libra. Uh, there is a need for you to, in order for you to propel forward in, in the quickest and most efficient way is to jump on those opportunities that present themselves. Stop waiting for the perfect time. Stop waiting for the perfect day to come because that's never going to happen. Either you make it happen or you don't. Okay, my lovelies? I hope that this gives you insight. I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.